Hello and welcome to our tips and tricks during the language learning. I'm Ekaterina and today I chose as our topic how to use neurological signs when we are learning a new language. Probably you know something, at least something about our brain and you know that uh, any kind of thinking process and any kind of uh, learning process is connected uh, to our neuron cells. Neuron are the small cells in our brain which are connected to each other and these connections uh, they provide uh, uh, literally storage of information and transmission of information to each other. So they store and transmit uh, with the help of uh, electrical and chemical impulses. Uh, they literally provide us with our thinking process. So the whole job of these neurons is to create meaningful links between each other. And we have uh, estimately as much as 100 billion of these, of this uh, neuron, 100 billion of this. And uh, that means that we have such a powerful machine inside of us and our storage is bigger than the storage of any computer ever existed. And that gives us unlimited uh, potential for learning anything, including a language. So why can't we learn? These neurons, they created specifically for making connections. The more connections they make, the better we understand something, the more information we have, uh, the better is our thinking process. But for some reason, our neurons don't create these connections or we feel that we are not learning anything even if it seems that we are trying hard. What is the trick here? Where is the trick? The matter is that uh, that brain just doesn't want us to learn anything. I can tell you why actually. This uh, small thing inside of us in Russian, we refer to it as a guy. In Ukrainian, we refer to it as them. In English, it just eat. So our brain is uh, only 2% of our body weight, but it, cons it consumes 20% of the whole body energy. It's a huge energy consuming machine. Probably evolutionary, we couldn't be without brains. Our survival depends on our thinking. And uh, that's why we have uh, this organ consuming that much energy, 20% of our energy. And again, evolutionary, if we consume too much energy, there wouldn't be enough energy for our muscles, for our body, for the rest of the body, for our heart, and uh, we will die. So another function of the brain, except thinking, except creating these connections, is to save as much energy as it can. Which means that brain is lazy. We call it lazy, but it's in fact it's energy saving machine. Or component, or guy, or girl, or they. So this is something very energy saving. It doesn't want to consume more energy than absolutely necessary for our survival. And that's why our unlimited thinking process is actually limited by definition. So it has, it's something like stabilization. You know, I don't know if you have it, we had it in our electrical system. When the grid, from the grid, we take too much power and the cable couldn't literally handle it. It just turns off the whole electricity. That's basically what our brain is doing for us. If it thinks that uh, learning a language, for example, is not necessary, it just will not learn it. That's how it works. That's it. Learning machine, energy saving machine. So when you are learning, you're actually tricking your brain. What, what can you do? What can we do to trick our brain in learning? Uh, the first thing is uh, to simplify its process and to make a habit of learning. So every day or every other day at a certain time, you will need to spare one or two hours or I don't know how much time do you have daily. So you need to spare this from, for example, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. just for learning a language. 
no matter what, no matter what's happening, you should get into habit. So get into habit of learning. When you're getting into routine, when you're getting into habit, it's easier to maintain it uh, in the long process. And learning a language is a long process. For the long, uh, for the long run, it's better to have a learning process regularly and have it in the same time. If you do it at the same time every day, your brain is getting used to it and thinks that everything is fine. The second idea is start. Just start. For everybody who wants to procrastinate, uh, all procrastinators, uh, hello, it's not about you, it's about your brain. It wants to save energy for itself. So don't listen to yourself, start doing it. Even if you're bored, even if you're tired, even if you think it's not working, even if you can't do it tomorrow or day after tomorrow, of course nothing would be changed. Just do it now, start it today. Don't start it tomorrow, start it today. And uh, then do it as a routine every day or every other day at least. And also give your brain enough uh, energy because uh, again, try to convince it that it doesn't need to save this energy. And the energy brain likes the most uh, comes from glucose and omega-3. They are important. Just make sure that in your diet it's enough of them. And also it's transferring from your stomach to your brain. It's transferring with the help of blood. Uh, you need to be physically exercised and uh, you need to be fit. You need to exercise physically in order to make this transfer, to facilitate this transfer. So healthy diet, exercising on the daily basis, Doing your learning process is a daily routine, training your brain, just forcing it to do it every day, training it in doing it every day, making it as a habit. Stop procrastinating, start doing it now. And uh, that's how you can trick your brain in learning a new language. That's my advice, that's all for today. I hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know what do you think. Do you have uh, any other ideas on how should we force our brain to work? Maybe you have other methods which worked for you. Let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to meet you very soon. Goodbye.